Hi, I'm Dr. Monica Singh. I'm a pediatrician and the co-founder of Mother Your Child. Today's video will be about low breast milk supply in mothers. Becoming a new mother is an experience like no other. The most common question asked by breastfeeding mothers is, is my breast milk enough for the child? And more often than not, the breast milk supply is adequate for the child. Now let's first understand what are some of the causes of low milk supply. Let's start from the beginning. If the mother has had a difficult delivery with excessive blood loss, there are chances that she might have low milk supply initially because of the dehydrated state that she is in. Mothers with history of PCOS, diabetes or hypothyroidism can also experience low milk supply. Other factors like premature delivery, hypertension in pregnancy, if the mother is obese, can also cause low milk supply. If the mother is not sleeping well, if the mother is not eating well, if the mother is stressed, these factors can also cause low milk supply. Now, how does breast milk supply work? Breast milk supply works by a simple principle of supply and demand. So whenever your baby feeds, or you express out milk, the breast tend to produce more milk. That's why if you're giving bottle feed or formula feed to the child, your body is not getting the message to produce more breast milk. Hence, breast milk supply falls after some time. The more effectively and the more frequently your baby breastfeeds, the more will be the breast milk supply. So if you feel that your baby is not taking enough milk during a feed, it is very essential to express out the milk and keep it for future use. Now, how to increase your breast milk supply? The most effective way to increase the breast milk supply is to feed the infant frequently, at least 8 to 12 times in the initial few weeks. Secondly, don't delay breastfeeding. Initiate breastfeeding as soon as possible because if you delay it, then it might also result in low milk supply. Make sure that the latch is proper. Be alert to feeding problems. Offer both the breasts during breastfeeding to the infant. It is okay if the infant nurses from one breast, but if it is a routine thing, the breast supply might decrease. Make sure to empty both the breasts once you've finished feeding the child. If the child is not taking the feed, express out the feed manually or through an electric pump and keep the feed for future use. Stay away from bottle feeds or formula feeds. If you're taking any medications, please consult your gynecologist or your pediatrician so that they can guide you accordingly. How to know that the baby is getting adequate breast milk? Firstly, the baby will start gaining weight. In the initial 7 to 10 days, the baby will lose weight but will regain its birth weight by 14 days and the baby will gain around 20 to 30 grams per day. The baby should be having at least 5 wet nappies starting from day 5 onwards and the nappy weight should be gradually increasing. Also, the urine should be pale in color. It should not be very dark. It should not be dark yellow. If the urine is dark, it indicates that the child might have dehydration and needs to be checked. You should not be worrying if your breasts feel softer and less fuller because the body is gradually adjusting to the baby's need. You should also not worry if the baby is feeding more frequently or less frequently. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. If you have any questions for us, please feel free to ask. We are utterly grateful to you for taking out the time to watch this video. Happy parenting. Bye-bye.